Hello again. It's Wednesday, June 9th, 2021. This is Journal TV, and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. The Covington City Council appointed Marie Fitzpatrick and Jay Woodson to slots on the school board and move forward on a five cent real estate tax hike at its Tuesday night meeting. Other than two staff members, a consultant, and the school board nominees, Kerfman Hall was bare. Among other actions, the Clifton Forge Town Council moved forward on its next year's budget with no real estate tax hike. Sewer rates will go down by $2 per month. Water rates will go up by $2 a month, leaving the town's utility charges the same at $111 per month. Separately, the NAACP's Kim Lewis told Council about a Juneteenth event in Covington on the 19th, and Martha Edwards explained progress on a love sign near Hardy's. Listen. We are sponsoring a Juneteenth celebration Saturday, June the 19th at Judah Watson Park in Covington. Town administration approval already. The location selected for the love sign is a strip of land in front of Hardy's that already includes our Welcome to Clifton Board sign. And now a word from our With most COVID-19 restrictions now lifted, entertainment options in the Highlands have vastly expanded. The historic Masonic Theater will host the Al Wittig Jazz Quartet this Friday, and Tim Elliott will play at the Jackson River Sports Complex on Saturday. And next week, the Wanna Beatles will play at the historic Masonic Amphitheater on Friday, and the Fender Benders 2.0 will play at the Jackson River Sports Complex on Saturday. The Allegheny Journal will try to keep up with all the new events getting posted. 9th District U.S. Congressman Morgan Griffith and many others in Congress want the government to investigate the origins of the COVID-19 virus. In his latest e-newsletter, he calls for hearings into the matter. Find out much more about all this right now on AlleghenyJournal.com. And we'll be right back. And now for local obituaries. Marilyn Bliss, 75 of Iron Gate, passed away on Monday. Gary Persinger, 68 of Covington, died Sunday. Cornelia Connor, 91 of Covington, died Tuesday. Roy Clark, 88 of Collierstown, died last Wednesday. And George Dickerson, 90 of Fairfield, died May 31st. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. Let's check out the local weather forecast. On Thursday, it should be mostly cloudy with showers, high of 82 and a low of 67. On Friday, mostly cloudy with showers, high of 81 and a low of 63. And on Saturday, Partly cloudy with scattered showers, high of 83 and a low of 62 degrees. And that's the way it is on Wednesday, June 9, 2021. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 
24-7-365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.